All right, guys, here I am once again. Uh, this is my third roll with Mike um, on the same day. So there's three videos of this. Um, usually when I'm rolling with my guys, I like to let them work, you know, and it's it's not fun to get smashed all the time or, you know, not be able to do anything against anyone. So I usually let uh, my guys work. So Mike's passing here, passing to the weak side, which is my weak side. I'm sure it's everybody's weak side. And he's trying to establish... Um, position here so he spins over to the back he's got the Kimura grip right here which is really good and this is what something that I teach and I emphasize a lot is a uh, Kimura grip it's strong and so you can it's a I always say it's a gateway to a lot of places like the back or the arm or you know um, the Kimura itself and uh, it's an anchor that'll get you to different positions I feel like and it's a tool I've used for you know for as long as i've been training and so mike's got the grip here he's trying to hit the kimura but i'm flattening my back to the mat which is gonna prevent him from bringing that arm my arm behind me and so anytime i'm in this position i try to keep my keep my back flat to the mat so that way they can't you know wrench my arm and pull my thumb to touch the back of my head and finish the Kimura. So Mike transitions to the arm lock here. He's got good, uh, he's got a good grip here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here, but he's actually got a really strong grip here and he's about to finish it. Um, and we just actually got done uh, drilling some finishes here. So I'm trying to roll up to my knees and come up and and stack him so I can turn the corner here, but he's actually got a really strong grip and that leg that's over my face is doing a really good job of just keeping me down. And so um, I should probably readjust my grip here to a rear naked uh, grip to defend, but I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, letting him work here. And I got the gable grip and right here, he's about to finish and boom. So, you know, it's good technique and it's, it's good to work from these kind of positions with resistance and so i was trying to give him that and that's what me and him have been doing in our sessions too so now uh we slap hands again trying to get our grips here you know like i said i'm letting him work he likes to move side to side and he does a really good job of like um putting pressure on so like right here he's trying to stack me um trying to get a some kind of choke here i forget what i was doing but i was just trying to get the collars in just trying to you know i was just trying to make him think here and so uh he's passed and uh, he's here he's trying to set up the paper cutter choke um and i've got my arms tucked in i'm just trying to be calm and patient while he's going for this so i'm looking to turn in here and i want to get i'm i'm trying to get my butterfly hooks in so now I'm coming over and he still has that that grip um the paper cutter grip over my over my throat here and he's being persistent with it he's got the grip underneath the armpit as well but it's not tight enough for the finish so i'm able to come in here and insert my left butterfly hook here and then we're gonna i'm gonna control here i'm off to the side and then i'm, I'm gonna sweep him right to my left right here now i'm gonna get on top here Side control, try to establish here. I'm grabbing deep into his back and just kind of trying to stabilize him here and just let him know that, you know, I have the I have the position secure. So now I'm gonna come back and try to walk him to the center, but he's very persistent with his bridge and it's a really good bridge. So, you know, I enjoy, I enjoy these rolls with Mike. So now here I'm in side control and I'm, I'm looking to, to get my uh, shin over the arm smash here which i've got now so i've got my right leg pinning his right arm down while i have uh control of the head and um an underhook here but he still has a he actually still has his frame here in my neck and so um i'm just trying to keep him i'm just trying to keep him flat here but he's you know he's he's trying to be patient as well and trying to find his window to bridge and so what i'm looking to do is what I'm looking to do here is is go for the triangle, but I'm not going to get it here just so, you know, to give you the forecast here. But I like this particular position um, really like a lot because when you have that arm pin right there and then um, if they didn't have that frame, you could 
pull them up for a step over armbar. You can transition to the back. Um, you can set up a Kimura. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I like to set up the triangle from this particular position, but it's a little bit difficult when he's got the frame right here because sometimes I've gone for it and that frame, that left hand right there, gets in the way. So now I've let go of the smash and he's coming up and I'm going to put my right butterfly hook in and I'm going to start to extend him and now I'm going to go for that um, that straight arm lock from the butterfly guard here and uh, got the finish right there.